Good morning, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to a market review of the QQQs. Thought I would do this today before the Labor Day holiday. And just take a look and see where the market is this week. Well, we're holding. Uh, holding bullishly. And I did trouble, triple check myself uh, this week here, actually after the close of this day. So let's let's go back here. I looked at this, I said we're strong, and I knew that we were. We gapped down here, rated the gap, and it didn't rate high enough for me to have played, so I knew that it wasn't going to stick. Then we rallied up and got over it and actually gapped over it here. So we got over it a little bit here. This was back on the 22nd, traded briefly above it, and then actually gapped right over this gap within five days and held, held in the middle of no man's land. Beautiful, beautiful, and then carried through higher here. Now, this was on the 26th, so this was Monday of this week, and we ran up and hit 77.28. The high over here is 77.27, so we didn't get over it. Why? Who knows? I mean, this is the middle, this is the summer. It's actually the end of the summer here now. And the volume has been low in the market, so we just didn't have the energy to get up over there. So it's really not a big deal, but we did come in hard on the day and close like a doji. This was heavy, the close, and then we gapped down the next day and that was heavy too. I did think we'd hold in here. We did hold all morning long before we broke. In fact, this was the 27th. Let's go back and look. This was in the morning, and I actually thought we were going to hold because we kept trying to break and kept trying to break and kept trying to break and didn't do it. And actually four times we tried to break it, couldn't do it here. This was on Tuesday, and then we finally broke at noon. So major reversal time at noon on Monday. We, uh, no, it was Tuesday. We came in hard. So if you play the afternoon short on Tuesday, you made money. I don't trade the afternoon, but if you did, uh, there was afternoon trading there on Tuesday. Which is odd, you know, in the middle of the summer to have a uh, little, you know, volume and volatility and momentum happening in an afternoon. Typically, trading in the afternoon of the summer is like the worst thing you could ever possibly do. You can get you can get trading in the fall, fall afternoon trading, um, morning trading in the fall, and fall afternoon trading you can do, but not in the summer. So this is weird. And anyways, the market then held immediately the next day. So I watched this yesterday, and we retraced way more than 50% of the bar. In fact, we ran all the way up here. The high is 75.75, and where we opened here this day was 75.82. We almost actually got up to the high. And now today, we're gapping right over it. We're gapping right here, almost over it and triggered on a daily buy setup. Now, I don't really think we go anywhere big with this this morning or today. It's Again, it's a holiday week. Light People are on vacation, people are off, people are in the Hamptons enjoying themselves last weekend in the summer. So I think that if we trade up today, we just go right up here. I don't think we go far with it. I think we come up here and retest and then maybe come in with a little topping tail. I'd be shocked if we go red today. I don't think we're going to do it. I think we're going to trade up and have a neutral slash bullish day and basically hold. And I've been saying all along after I saw how this configured itself, the strength of this gap here, where it landed, how it held, how it held so incredibly and we could have broken and didn't that we are not going to break this. So when I saw this, I watched it. And we could have come in a little bit more. We could have come in all the way down here, still not broken this, and come in and still been in an uptrend and still holding and just would have been down for a couple of days. And there's nothing wrong with that. Remember, things don't go in a straight line. Do Things move and they wiggle and they jiggle until they get ready to go higher. So I think now we're just going to trade in here, squish around until the first, second week of September. So I don't know if we're going to lift off here the first week of September or the second week. We'll have to see. I'd be shocked if it happens for the holiday week. There is two days of trading left, Thursday and Friday. So anything's possible. But I think we're going to get caught up in this area here today. I think this is where we're going to go this morning. And then we'll see how we close. Overall direction of the market is still bullish. Beautiful call by me the last few months um, I've been calling it right on point. Going into the fall of this year, I see the market being higher until otherwise noted. Um, and uh, beautiful, nice uptrend here in the market. Lots of buying opportunities if you want to get in before we actually take off like a rocket. So, you know, take advantage of these if you know how to read gaps or, or do any of this or read trends. The next Golden Gap class is September 14th and 15th, and the next Trends class is October 1st and 2nd. If you are interested in more information on the upcoming classes with the Stock Swish LLC, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great, fabulous last summer weekend, everyone. Enjoy yourselves. Take it easy, go to the beach, have some wine, relax and enjoy yourselves. And I will see everybody next week, first month of the 
uh, fall trading season, September, great month, love September. Going to be a tribute to James Bond in the month of September for the Stock Swish LLC. Really exciting. So email me if you'd like more information at melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks, everyone.